Do you believe that architecture has the power to connect or bring people close to each other without any iconic architecture or even for that matter non architecture? Do you believe that architecture can solve people's problems without any building? Can architecture make you aware of the fact of presence of absence? Do you believe that an architect's sensitivity or architecture can become a boon for the people? So this video will try to address these problems through an intervention which is a pathway suspended from the existing vehicular bridge which spans the two sides of a river and the bridge which we are talking about that has managed to solve these problems is none other than the Jinmai pedestrian bridge above the Ilan river in Taiwan and the mastermind behind solving this particular problem was architect Yuan Sheng Yuan from Taiwan and also the principal architect of field office architects his contribution has been immense in designing various other such pockets in the Yilan county and the most amazing fact about his work is that it creates a unique dialogue with the natural environment The Yilan River runs through the heart of Yilan city and then merges with the Dongsheng River and the Lanyang River at Yilan County where the combined flow of the three then empties into the Pacific Ocean. Water shapes the lives of Yilan inhabitants starting from the Qing dynasty which controlled Taiwan from 1683 to 1895. The locals constructed ditches throughout Yilan to irrigate fields and gardens and much arable land was rapidly turned into rice paddy fields the kingye bridge which spans across the yilan river is a busy road with heavy vehicular traffic and the jinmai pedestrian bridge is a pathway suspended from it the two major problems that led to planning of this particular intervention was the lack of pedestrian connectivity from one end to another and also the school going children were competing with the trucks for their crossing so in this case study we will be looking at how this particular intervention has managed to solve these problems the bridge is suspended only on one side of the kingye vehicular bridge which starts from one end of the bridge and the large watch tower with the waiting lounge marks the termination of this bridge the jinmai pedestrian bridge was suspended in order for people to move freely from one end to another and most importantly it was done due to the previous accidents that had taken place so it is purely a pedestrian bridge that people as well as cyclists can freely move from one end to another and use it as a daily corridor In spite of it being a pathway it houses some equipments where people can exercise in the morning or even just stroll around for a walk. This hanging bridge sways gently as you walk over it and through the grating you can see the grass sway and the river move under with vines growing over the wire trellis along the way. The bridge has a little nook tucked away on the other side where lovers romance or even teenagers scrawl their name on the surface of the bridge and below is a gymnasium with swings for people at the end of this bridge is a large watch tower where you can observe the city around with a waiting area and also a social welfare building which consists of government employees and also a home for the homeless with public toilets and bathing areas that was built on a piece of government land that was rejected initially by almost every other department until yuang made his case for the social welfare department to take over and the reason for its rejection was that it earlier was a slaughter house so the bridge caters to all age groups where a son takes his wheelchair bound mother for a tour on the bridge to watch the dragon boats in action giggling and chattering from under the boardwalk reveals that children are happily playing on the swings below The narrow walkway suspended from one side of the old bridge creates a space for random encounters between people and narrows the distance between them and the river. And as per the architect the bridge seems to merge with the surroundings with a green cover over it which still feels as the natural environment is still untouched.
and now coming to some of the astonishing features that this bridge has given rise to so when you look at the bridge as an entity it becomes of utmost importance to highlight the effects that have caused due to this sensitive insert to the existing bridge instead of demolishing it that has given rise to activities all around which in turn have greatly benefited the community of Yilan. So the features that need to be highlighted are the use of grating for the pathway. So instead of keeping the pathway solid, grating is introduced which enables the visual connection with water even when standing on the bridge. And you can also enjoy the boat rides even when sitting on the bridge. And there are equipments that are kept on the pathway where children as well as people use it for their daily exercises or even people sit to watch the river alongside. There is a space tucked away under the bridge for couples plus kids to the swings which are hung below the bridge which become a park in the evenings and the green creepers creating a dimmed softer environment for birds with simultaneously cars running on the bridge. So did you ever think that the bridge as an entity could solve so many problems at the same time? And now coming to the structural arrangement of this bridge which is the most crucial part in this extension. The entire bridge is in steel which is suspended from the existing concrete bridge and it completely cantilevers with horizontal braces and vertical steel supports at suitable distances to support the bridge by taking into consideration the rule of cantilever which suggests the backspan to be twice the distance of the cantilever. So the most brilliant move lied in selecting steel as the structural material which is quite flexible and it does not stop here but it also adds up to the structural aesthetics with the steel pipes rising high above and creating an unique identity for the bridge elevation. And now coming to the material palette and its efficient use which has made this intervention possible with immense flexibility. The innovative use of steel in the form of trellis work or grating or large sections or even stainless steel along with discarded wooden planks to span the structure and make it a completely cost effective solution which were readily available around the city. And the suspended bridge intervention is also climatically sensitive which is clearly evident from the structure and also the material palette selection. And the two major factors contributing in keeping the microclimate cool are the green planters and also the porosity in materials which allows the cool breeze from the water to flow inside the bridge through the steel grating or through the steel trellis. So the structure proves to be climatically sensitive to humans as well as the natural ecology which attracts more birds. And now coming to the last and the most important segment of what are the lessons that this intervention teaches us. So the first and the most important lesson that we need to understand is how architecture can connect people. So the bridge not only connects physically due to the width of the pathway which brings people close to each other but also connects socially people of different age groups through unexpected social encounters making it a great public space which was also the intention of the architect. So a narrower space brings people close to each other and the softer lighting allows birds to find rest. And the second important lesson is of frugal innovations of how simple materials can be innovatively used such as let's say how the steel is used right from the large beams for spanning to the trellis used as railing. So the frugal use is nothing but an extension of the streets of the city rather than a separate range of materials. Therefore it is the best use of waste in many ways. 
and as we all know that the sheer use of a bridge is to transit from one point to another or to pass sewage pipelines but in this case people not only transit but stay to enjoy hang out and chat with people or even just for observing the ilan river or kids coming to play under the bridge and therefore it is no more a transition point but it has become a destination point too so this bridge demonstrates and sets an example that even bridges have the potential to become great public spaces and lastly the bridge has become like a sense of belonging to the people therefore it can be termed as a people's bridge and lastly this project shows us that instead of demolishing the existing architecture still we can solve a problem and make a desired statement which we intend to do just by plugging in our insert to the existing architecture which merges with the surrounding which people enjoy and eventually make our insert a great success so architecture should enable to design experiences and possibilities for things to happen therefore architecture should suggest rather than impose So that's all from my side for today guys if you think you learned something valuable from this video please do hit the like and subscribe button below in order to never miss an update and also you can go through various other in depth case studies on this channel